take the suture end that you will be tying with in your non-dominant hand and hold it between your index finger and thumb. Roll your digits so that the string lies on the back of the ulnar aspects of your digits and use your middle finger to t turn and loop the suture through. Push it away from you, ensuring there is a square knot. Then, taking the suture between your middle finger and thumb, loop your index finger under it, bring the other suture across and roll it and loop it in a similar fashion, grasping it between your index and thumb and pulling towards you, ensuring again that there's a square knot which lies in the opposite direction to your previous knot. Finally repeat using just two digits, which you can do when there's less suture material, and snug down the knot so it lies squarely. Multiple throws can be used to hold a more secure knot. Typically, this will be three throws for a braided suture or five for a monofilament. For instrument tying, grasp the non-tying end of the suture with your forceps and loop it twice around your needle holder. Then take the other end of the suture, pull it through the loops and away from you so that a square knot lies flatly on the material being tied. You can drop your suture following this and then roll the other end around the needle holder again in the opposite direction. Grab the suture with the needle holder and pull towards you. You can see a square knot falling down again. This process, like in hand tying, can be repeated over and over to ensure a square and secure knot.